one friend. Hey guys, welcome back to Film Title. Today we'll talk about why Gordon Ramsay can't cook. Let's head into it. Number 1. His Golden Years Gordon Ramsay made his mark on the London culinary scene in 1993, when he was only 30 years old and was appointed as the chef of the city's famous Aubergine restaurant. He earned two Michelin stars in less than three years. He left in 1998 to open his own restaurant, Gordon Ramsay, which won three Michelin stars and has kept them longer than any other London restaurant. Ramsay's popularity was only getting started, and he went on to open a slew of restaurants around the world. From Qatar to Las Vegas to Singapore, Ramsay's rising celebrity as a chef landed him on television, where he finally started in his own UK series. It wasn't long before he crossed the Atlantic and became a familiar face on American television. Ramsay, who is known for his fiery temper and regular outbursts of profanity on Fox shows, including Hell's Kitchen and Kitchen Nightmares, has now ventured outside of the kitchen with the National Geographic Channel travel series Gordon Ramsay Uncharted. Although being one of television's most well-known celebrities, even Gordon Ramsay's most ardent fans don't know everything there is to know about the fiery celebrity chef. Number 2. His Not-So-Golden Years Gordon Ramsay has been married to Tana for almost 25 years and has five children with her. Despite their long marriage, their union has been the subject of several tabloid allegations. Why am I bringing this up now? How does this marriage come under his not-so-golden years? Well, Ramsay was accused of having a seven-year affair with Sarah Simmons, a controversial so-called professional mistress. By the now-defunct News of the World via Anti-Herald in 2008, Ramsay and Simmons met in a nightclub in 2001, according to a tabloid. Ramsay and Sarah exchanged mobile numbers and became lovers just a few weeks later, according to the supposed source. So much for him being true to his wife. According to another unnamed source who spoke with a mirror, Ramsay said, I'm so sorry I've put Tana through this. To one friend, after learning one of the revelations, I've apologized to her and I'm feeling horrible. The pair had talked it out, according to the same source. Number 3. An Unfortunate Injury Gordon Ramsay could not have been a chef if it hadn't been for a bad accident. In a 2002 interview with The Guardian, he revealed that soccer, or as it's called in the United Kingdom, football, had always been his lifelong passion. Ramsay had enough talent for the sport to be signed by the Glasgow Rangers. I was petrified most of the time, he confessed. Remembering his early days on the team is very stressful and very, very nervous. When he actually made it to the squad of 18, I wet myself with excitement. I was over the moon, but I was also very, very nervous. When Ramsey sustained a serious injury on the field, his whole life changed in an instant. He said, I tore my ligaments, and it was a heartache. He was saddened to hear that he would not be welcome for another season. He admitted, I couldn't swallow it. I was gutted. Soon after, he enrolled in a catering course, which paved the way for his culinary success. I still love football though, and I think cooking is like football, he said. It's not a job, it's a passion. Number 4. Tired of being a bully chef Gordon Ramsay's trademark expression needs to be bleeped every time he uses it on screen, and he says it a lot. Despite all the F-bombs, Ramsay acknowledged that his legendary potty mouth isn't something he's specially proud of. Ramsay referenced the insane amount of foul language on his television shows when asked about his cursing during an interview for The Gorton in 2010. When you saw those two kitchen nightmares merge into one, last year when they had those 298 fucks, I was really ashamed of that. There's come a point, at the age of 43, I'm getting a little bit tired of the Val Bully chef. Number 5. On the verge of being cancelled So what happened? How did an angry, bully, world-renowned F-bombing chef start getting so much hate? We've seen Gordon mess up many times, recreating dishes that came nowhere close to the original dish, serving as one of the reasons why people hate him so much, pun intended. The phrase Gordon Ramsay can't cook is an oversimplified notion that grew from an attempt to improve traditional dishes that eventually turned into catastrophes, but his motives were never to rectify any flaws of the traditional dishes, nor to improve them because they didn't need improvement. Gordon is known for being creative with his dishes and making something new by combining different dishes. But when it's done with a cultural dish, it's bound to ignite a fume of rage in people that represent that culture. And Gordon being a person that has the habit of judging is very slow on picking up the hints that people around him are offended. Only a few people can escape from Ramsey's anger when it comes to food, and vegans are certainly no different. We can see him on TikTok and Instagram reaction videos, mocking and degrading vegans for, you know, being vegan. And veganism being such a popular belief today is bound to have a negative effect on his profile. So it's fair to say that while being the most famous chef in the world, he's also hated equally. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.